Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And today we are going to talk about two of the very commonly used terms that is QBD or quality by design. And the second one is AQBD or analytical quality by design. So the QBD is first proposed by ICH in the Q8 guidelines and you will find similar proposal made into the ICH Q14 for the analytical method development. So as a part of this video, we will try to understand the QBD concept and we will also compare the terms as per as QBD and as per as UQBD. So what is the definition of QBD according to the ICHQ8? A systematic approach to development that begins with predefined objectives and emphasizes product and process understanding and process control based on sound science and quality risk management. So we have to define the predefined objectives as per as the product development is concerned. And we'll talk about what is meant by the predefined objectives in the coming slides. ICH Kuwait guideline has proposed a QBD approach for pharmaceutical product development. And uh, very recently, ICHQ14 has now proposed a similar approach, which we can call as AQPD for analytical procedure development. So let us discuss a few terms which are common in QBD and AQBD. So this is the table I'm going to talk about now. We'll talk about what is the first term that is the QBD part. And in the second, we'll talk about the AQBD term. So the first term as far as QBD is concerned is the QTPP and a QPTT stand for quality target a target product profile. What is the definition of QTPP as far as ICH QBD? So a, a prospective summary of the quality characteristics of a drug product that ideally will be achieved to ensure the desired quality, safety and efficacy. So how one can achieve this desired safety, quality and efficacy? with the summary of the product characteristics and you can think about the summary of product characteristics as a dosage form like a tablet or intravenous injections what is the dosage design is it ir product or modified release drug product what is the label claim of the product it is a 10 mg or 20 mg what is the container closure system so whatever is the specification as per as the designing of the product is concerned maybe in terms of its appearance, maybe in terms of its bioavailability requirement, all that falls under QTPP or quality target product profile. Now the similar terms which you can have into the AQBD approach is called as the ATP. Now what is the definition of what is the full form of ATP? So it is analytical target profile. The definition of ATP is a prospective summary of the performance characteristics describing the intended purpose and anticipated performance criteria of analytical measurement. Now the performance characteristic word has come into the AQBD part. So we need to understand what are the important performance characteristics so that the proposed analytical procedure is going to meet the intended purpose. And these performance characteristics are nothing but the parameters which you generally consider during the method validation. For example, specificity can be a one performance characteristic, precision, accuracy, linearity. So whatever parameters you think that is that are important as a part of your method validation can be called as a ATP for your analytical procedure. So QTPP is in terms of pharmaceutical product development and ATP is in terms of the analytical procedure development. The next parameter as far as QBD is concerned is the CQA and the CQA stand for critical quality attribute. So what is the definition of CQA? A physical, chemical, biological or microbiological property or characteristic that should be within an appropriate limit range or distribution to ensure the desired product quality. So there are quality attributes of the products which can be physical, chemical, biological or microbiological which is going to define whether the product is of desired quality or not. And the example of 
CQA could be identification, assay, related substances, or contained uniformity in case of the drug product, dissolution in case of the drug product. So the quality attributes are like your product specification. But all quality attributes may not be critical for your desired product quality. So the CQA is subset of your quality attributes. What is the similar term as far as AQBD is concerned? And that is CAA. What is the CAA? It is the critical analytical attributes. And here is the definition. The potential analytical method attributes that should be within an appropriate limit to ensure the desired ATP. So this quality, sorry, the critical analytical attributes are going to help you to achieve your proposed ATP, to achieve the proposed performance characteristics, to achieve the parameters which are going to define into the method validation. So what are those CAA, which are very important characteristics of analytical procedure to achieve your desired validation parameters or ATP and they can be the peak area retention time, the plate count, the tailing factor, the resolution, relative retention times. Now all these are the very important attributes of analytical procedure which is going to help you to meet the proposed ATP, analytical target profile which is nothing but your validation parameters. So these are the common terms. We talked about QTPP versus ATP and CQA versus CAA. What is the next term? That is the CPP and CPP stands for critical process parameters. So what is the definition of uh, CPP or critical process parameter as per ICS Cuvette? A process parameter who has variability, sorry, a process parameter whose variability has an impact on a CQA CQA stands for critical quality attributes and therefore should be monitored or controlled to ensure the process produces the desired quality. Now we talked about uh, some examples of CQA like content uniformity or the blend uniformity, dissolution, related substances etc. Now these are the critical quality attributes for any solid oral dosage forms. Now, what are the manufacturing parameters which can influence these critical quality attributes? And there could be two uh, manufacturing parameters. The one is your process parameters and the second one is your material attributes. What is the quality of excipient? So these two parameters can certainly influence onto the CQA. Let us talk, talk about what are those critical process parameters. Like for example, the granulation time. So the granulation time can influence on to the, the quality of the granules produced at the end of your wet process method. Right? The wet granulation process can get impacted due to the granulation time. The quality of the granules can differ dependent on to the granulation time and that can certainly influence your dissolution. Similarly, the blending time can influence the content uniformity of the blend. So these are the some examples of the critical process parameters. Now what is the equivalent term as far as AQBD is concerned to CPP and that can be called as a CMP or critical method parameters. So what are those critical method parameters which can certainly impact onto the critical analytical attributes. So here is the definition. So independent analytical variables influencing the critical analytical attributes. We talked about some of the critical analytical attributes like uh, retention time, resolution, etc. So, which method parameters can influence the CAA? An example is mobile phase composition, the pH of the mobile phase, the buffer strain, the flow rate, or injection volume. Now, this can certainly influence the CAA or critical analytical attributes. The next term as far as QBD is concerned is the CMA and CMA stands for critical material attributes. Now what is the definition? A material whose variability has an impact on a CQA and therefore should be monitored or controlled to ensure the desired drug product quality. 
So what are those circuits? We talked about dissolution related substances, potency. Now what are those material attributes or material specifications which can influence this uh, circuit? And the example could be the particle size. The particle size can influence the dissolution. The moisture content can influence the related substances or to certain extent dissolution. And the purity is very essential to achieve, to achieve the products with the desired quality. So these are all, all about the CMA or critical material attributes. Now what is equivalent equivalent term as far as AQBD is concerned and that is a CMMA. So CMMA stands for critical method material attributes. A physical, chemical, biological or microbiological attributes of material that influences the CAA. Now this is about the quality of the reagent or solvents we are going to use during execution of analysis. And they can be the purity of reagents, the column stationary phase or the types of the glasswares used. Now this certainly can influence the critical analytical attributes like resolution, retention time or plate counts. I hope you must have now understand the equivalent terms for QBD and AQBD. Let me also know what is your view on this particular discussion. Thank you so much.